So I believe that is Dalagiri, seventh tallest mountain in the world at more than 8,000 meters. I'm here uh, in this absolutely stunning valley, as you can see. I just walked from Muktanath, the village across the valley there, along like that, and then came over here, and then I'm heading to uh, another uh, village out that way uh, that will be a maybe a three to four hour hike from here. Day before yesterday, I came down from Thoring Law Pass, the highest trekking pass in the world, at 5,416 meters, or 17,769 feet. So it's back up that way. I can see the uh, switchbacks going up there, but I believe the uh, pass is actually even further than what you can uh, see there. So really amazing scene here. I actually was uh, not going to film today and just hike and just not worry about, um, you know, taking pictures or, or uh, shooting video, and then was just like, I gotta capture this, this is just amazing. So for anyone who saw any of my previous videos, trekking with my friend John, then uh, we came down here together and uh, stayed uh, uh, here in Muktanath. I was here for the past two nights. He and then some of the other people we met up with along the, uh, the trail uh, also stayed a night. But then he had to head back to Pokhara. He had something to do, a uh, interview. And so I'm now trekking on my own for the rest of this journey. I don't know how much longer this is going to go. Uh, from here, getting back to basically the end of the trail, it all depends on how, uh, you know, fast you walk and everything. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do the whole thing, uh, or catch a jeep, because you can, th there are roads all through here, you can catch a jeep from here to Jongsam, and from Jongsam you can then catch a bus all the way back to Pokhara. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to more, uh, trekking in the amazing mountains, so going to soak it up as long as, uh, I'm, you know, in the mood here. Uh, so this is just going to be kind of a one day trekking on the Annapurna circuit, give you a little taste of things. I will be walking through some pretty cool villages along the way. So I'm going to uh, put the pack back on here and uh, keep on hiking. And so if you happen to see my uh, video hiking up to amazing uh, Tolicho Lake, then that is straight back that way. There is actually a, a trail coming from there down to Muktanath, which John and I had checked out as a possibility and decided it was just uh, way too long and there's no lodges or anything along the way there. Uh, but that then must be Tolicho Peak, I believe, about 7,100 meters. And then I think then that on the right would be Neil Geary. So, uh, some of the uh, highest peaks of the Himalayas here. Stunning scene. Nobody else around. Such an awesome feeling. I haven't seen a single trekker so far since I left. There were lots of people uh, back in Mukden out there. There's different routes to go here. This is the uh, upper trail to uh, Kag Beni, is the uh, village that I plan to stay at tonight. You could also go by road. Uh, some people are going from Muktanath to Jomsom straight by uh, Jeep. And so people are kind of spreading out this way. I will also be walking through a small little village. I forget the name at the moment, but uh, something with a J. Josh, Joy, J J something. Up ahead somewhere. And so this is the village of Zhong. Trippy looking place. Zhongkar, so that is a village that I walked through earlier. And then this is Zhong. Interesting. Sleepy little town, that's for sure. Tibetan uh, prayer wheels. Hardly anybody around. Namaste. Namaste. This is Zhong? Yes. Zhong, okay. Putak, uh, same Kak Beni? Yeah. Yes. Kak Beni this way? Okay. This monastery? Yes. This monastery. Okay, I walk up there. How are you? Okay, I'm good. How are you? Hi. <laughs> I'm Gabriel. Your, your name? My name is Santos. Santos. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good name. <laughs> And you? Arjun. 
Arjun. Arjun, like the, yes. the god. Bar Barun. Baklun. 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 Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, restaurant? Yes, yes I'm oh, get some lunch. It's a good one? Okay, cool. I'm hungry for lunch, so I'm gonna uh, try his recommendation. Zhang View Top. Sounds good. Just came up here. There's a sign for Zhang View Top Restaurant. I might have come the uh, back route or something. Yeah, I think that's the restaurant right here on the left. All right, let's see if I can find the front door, man. Definitely feeling that elevation. We're up at uh, probably around 10,000 feet or so. And so I guess the uh, restaurant is actually here. <laughs> Not sure yet. Or is this the monastery? Oh, uh, hello. View top restaurant? No. Is it, it's down? No. No, it's closed. Close. Ah, okay. What do you need? Ah, uh, lunch. Which, which place? So this is the monastery. And I have to wonder if that is uh, damage from the earthquake a year ago. Sure looks like it. And so that uh, gentleman there uh, said that the restaurant is closed, no longer in existence. And yet he is going to uh, fix me up a bowl of veg noodle soup and said, wait in the uh, monastery. So give that a try and see how it goes. This is sure interesting. And so I have here a tasty uh, looking bowl of veg noodle soup cooked by this gentleman over here. That's just what I needed. Gonna uh, munch on this and then keep on hiking. I got about uh, three hours or so more to get to Kag Benny.
And it looks like that must be Cat Betty down there. Still a ways to go, but uh, at least it is within view. What an epic hike. So I guess that must be Cag Benny down there. But I'm not entirely certain. Maybe it's around the corner this way. I guess I'll find out. Pretty wild scene here. A big uh, truck coming up the road there. This is a weird little forest. Tucked away in a uh, crevice there. That's that other little village out there. And here's Cag Benny. <laughs> Cafe Applebee's. <laughs> Hotel Cag Benny. I think I'll try to find that. Give it a try. Namaste. Namaste. Yes, how much? Okay. Uh, oh, do you have Wi Fi? Wi Fi, no electricity everywhere. But, but maybe, maybe evening? 10 o'clock. Oh, not until 10 tonight and then no Wi Fi all the town. Yeah. I see. Okay, I, I take a look. Price. Okay. And room is free. Okay, ah, and it looks cool. We have rooftop uh, viewpoint. Okay. Huh? I see. Whew. Okay, cool. cool. I take it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. All right, folks. Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to go for it. What the heck? It is funky and simple, but uh, the guy is really nice and, um, you know, good price, of course. And uh, I guess there's just no power in town until 10 o'clock, so what can you do? It's going to be kind of a long evening, but uh, it's definitely been an experience. And then tomorrow I will be uh, hiking to Jamsum, which is a uh, larger town that should have better facilities. And I may stay there for a couple nights and get, uh, uh, you know, Wi-Fi and upload videos and take a rest and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm wiped out. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.